final farewell on the field of Waisali Serevi, the king. Well, he's the king. Perhaps the Dofa is the young William Ryder, the sorcerer and his apprentice. Well, last time that uh, Samoa won here in Hong Kong was in 1993. Fiji want to take over the mantle that England had for the last four playings. Before that, New Zealand, Fiji last won here in 1999. And uh, Keith Quinn, it's, it's, a, it's a grand finale for the maestro, isn't it? Especially Nigel, the way he played in the semi-final, balancing the ball as he ran in for the try under the post to beat the arch rivals New Zealand to get to this grand final. The referee is 33-year-old engineering manager Chris Rooney from Palmerston North in New Zealand. He's been a regular on the IRB circuit for the last two years. Fiji it is, and their South Sea Island rivals, Fiji versus Samoa. The play on is allowed because Naevo came through to play the ball, although it didn't go 10 metres. And this is the key to the game, the possession, the battle. And I sense that, uh, as happened earlier this year in Wellington, Samoa will try and repeat those tactics of giving Fiji no space, taking them on. Absolutely, it's the way to beat Fiji. And what a dramatic match they played that day uh, in Wellington, that night in Wellington, that sent the sparks flying through the South Pacific. Can they do the same in Asia to climax our wonderful three days here? Wally Mai, the switch with Lola Louie, who'll be a heavily marked man, just as the other number seven will be in Vuthango for Fiji away now, though, via the Senyo, Senyo to Wally Mai. Clever player, lovely offload, Palala. And rather Pesamino with the opening score in a flash. Pesamino, who's been a thorn in the flesh of so many, with 23 tries, that's his 24th in this tour, in uh, this series. And what a start for Samoa. And how brilliantly it was done by this man, the IRB's Sevens Player of the Year last year. He drew in two defenders, cleared space for Pesamino, and Pesamino really enjoyed this one. It was a run-in, but there's been a lot of mistakes in the pressure in the semi-finals and quarter-finals today, but he made no mistake. All of them based in uh, Samoa, the players here. This is one of the younger men at 22, Pesamino. And the conversion is superb. So Lola Louis adds the points, throws the gauntlet down to Fiji. So there's Diki Tafua on the sideline. Getting everybody on edge, ready for the next phase. As Ualimai restarts from halfway, it's Samoa 7, Fiji 0. Ten minutes each way, remember, in this final. And a nice pick up there going through. Ualimai again. Such a dangerous man. And that's a second try inside the first two and a half minutes of the final for Samoa. They have rocked Fiji back on the heels. Well, worries for Waisali Sarevi, but he'll acknowledge, I'm sure, the talent, the skills, the distribution, and then the eye for the gap of the little playmaker, Uali Mai. Watch how he takes this here at the breakdown, and then a great offload. It was Pesamino again, and then he takes on Ryder. Ryder's not the biggest man by a long distance, and he fancied his chances to drive it home, taking the flying Fijian with him. The handoff helped, but he had the momentum as well. The perfect start at 12-0. Well, they couldn't have asked for a better start to the final. But remember, there's an awful long way to go, and 12 points can be gathered in by the opposition, especially one as talented as Fiji is. But it's two tries, early advantage coming up. For Samoa, they lead by 12 to nil. Ten minutes each way, remember. So uh, it's only like the first half has just started of a normal seven. Here is Lolo Louis trying to tie in some of the big men no in the seven. Fijian squad. They've dominated possession so far. The gap, and Senio it is who goes through, collared by Vuthango. Three to two. No, this is Trevor Annas. Takes two to stop him. Lolo Louis 
on hand, Oali Mai, sees four to two out wide, it must be a score for Pesamino again, he goes in past Stefani Fakao. This is a fairy tale start for the Samoans, three tries to nil. And it's all happening down in this corner. Pesamino most tries in the tournament, that's nine for him now. And my word, what again, uh, control, passing out wide, and Fiji, not only have they conceded three early tries, they haven't been out of their own defensive zone. Pesamino in, in the same corner. Extraordinary, this shell-shocked Fiji must be. Injury to Trevor Arnes while we're watching this replay, by the way, he's having a bit of attention. But Michele Pesamino, the 22-year-old from Appia, the capital of these friendly islands, and they must have dreamed of this start. And Pesamino there, look this season, just four behind Ryder. If there's someone who could turn it round, it's the man who stands above him in that chart, William Ryder. But he hasn't had a touch of the ball yet, and scarcely have Fiji. Two tries for Pesamino in this volcanic start. Look at that. How many passes have Fiji connected with so far in the game? And we're over halfway through the first half. A big fat zero. Ualimai kicking 17 to nil. And once again, oh no, it's come off uh, a loss forward coming off uh, the blue early on. And so here at last is a chance for Fiji to invent something, to create something, to try and fight back. What have they got to offer? The rampant Samoa team. Well, they quickly turned the scrum, and the referee didn't like it. And so away goes Budango up towards halfway. Tough running forward by number. They're into Samoa territory. No, they're not. And they've done it again. This is how they won the game. Remember that night in Wellington, Nigel? They shut down at the very start every opportunity that Fiji had. 17-14 on that occasion over Fiji. Fiji then turned it round. They had space the next time they met them in a final in San Diego and beat them 38-24. So it's finally balanced, but I don't think anyone, least of all even Samoa's greatest fans, would have thought of 17-0 at this point. Well, he might. Lola Louis. Oh, wide outside. Beautiful run here by Mifal. And it's going to be try number four. The hits keep on coming. Well, now it's a case of keeping their feet on the ground as they run riot. Jerry Meafu played his first Hong Kong tournament a year ago. And my word, look at this. Just almost dispatching the would-be challengers with disdain. Four tries to nil, and still we're in the first half with two and a half minutes to go. Powerfully built, aren't they all? Their upper body strength uh, belies perhaps their, their physique at times. They're not that tall, but they're powerful upper bodies. And here's Lola Louis with the conversion just wide. It stays at 22 nil. And he makes it flex that one away. Celebrations already, but don't anticipate anything when you're facing Fiji with uh, a full half of 10 minutes plus two minutes remaining of this first half. But 22 nil. It would require a Houdini-like act to escape from this trauma. And they'll be very proud in the Kairau Club in Wanganui in New Zealand, where Jerry Mia played so much of his rugby, originally from Skopa in Apia. Again, from the kickoff, it's gone on the side of Samoa. Pesamino. Chased by the cow. And some of these great Fijian runners haven't seen the ball to run with. Here's a chance for them now. Where is William Ryder? He's waiting at the end of this one. Vola Vola giving it to Ryder. This magic young player, real talent, new star and all that. But if they can't get in the ball, he can't shine. It's been a chapter of errors and a loss of possession again for Fiji. It's costing them so dear. 
a little knock on on the ground and uh, Vola Vola looking distraught and Duali Mai just in no hurry at this stage but 0 to 22 they have Fiji still on the right just seconds remaining till half time and again probing the blindside Lola Louis back goes Budango Louis is going to keep on him close him down the two number sevens there it is down and pressurized Vola Vola gets it away here is Ryder can he create space further outside no it's uh, Rocco who's lost it and it's another one for Pesamino the referee played an advantage and he cannot believe it that's a hat trick Michele Pesamino well here's the new star today the wiles of Oali Mai we know all about, but recognise the talents of this youngster who has put a hat-trick over Fiji in a final in the space of 10 minutes. Absolutely extraordinary, and it's 27 points to nil. So often it's been so close when these two have met. This is only their third meeting in a cup final, and... There we go again. The taunting the Fijians as he goes in for number three and I suppose you've got to say and why not there it is half time in the Cathay Pacific Credit Suisse Hong Kong sevens final 2007 and can you believe that score line 27 to nil to Samoa I was just thinking, Keith, that back end of last season, they met in the London final. Just looking up, the scoreline, 54 to 15. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And that was a victory, shall I add, for Fiji. Here we are, a matter of uh, less than a year later, and we're in the final, and it's tables turned, if ever. Scrum half Rudolph Moores. This is the team that's taken them to the top. We know players of input from New Zealand. That label can't be tagged to this team. Lots of support in the stands. Some on flags waving proudly. And why not at 27 to nil? It's unbelievable, really, Nigel, that this margin. Who would believe it? Well, Fiji have got to start from scratch. Say we've got 10 minutes to do something. And first and foremost, they've got to win some possession and eliminate the errors. But against Samoa. That ain't easy. William Ryder. <laughs> Great restarts. But again, no possession. Naevo this time didn't win a restart. That's his speciality. And Samoa have possession via Trevor Annas away from Senio. And up the middle is Lola Louis. Now it's on from Mia Fu. And again, they do need to do nothing in a hurry. Just repeat the dose, Trevor Annis in the middle of very good work. Of course, he is in the Kylie and the maestro of their squad is Uali Mai here. That went forward, although we've got another fool running across the pitch. We'll ignore that. And I'm not sure what referee uh, Kasuin is doing here. He, he just stopped the game, I think, Nigel. Be, there was a fool who ran on a diagonal run, fully clothed fool, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and ran just across. And, was, uh, and an injury, too, which he's now drawn attention to. Pesamino, is it? Yes, looks, looks like so, it. 
he's done his bit, but they'd like him to stay there. Well, what role can he play in the remainder of the game? Would he come on as he did against New Zealand in the semi-final? There's a little note being handed to the refereeing staff, and it uh, looks like Nambaluwanga is going to come on. Nambaluwanga. Pasamino back on his feet. That uh, pause, perhaps allowing Fiji to regroup, and they need to do just that. Great talent, Lapani, but Nambaluwanga. That's... That's the problem. As Vola Vola departs the scene. Ruali Mai to feed. Nine minutes to play. Lola Louie. Into contact. They don't mind that. As long as they retain possession, which they've done again with Mikhaile. Mikhaile takes two Fijians with him. That's how they operate so effectively. Ruali Mai went backwards. This is Senyo. Again, two men, <laughs> Naevo Holy. and Zakao, but on the the ball is not released quickly enough. Nabuliwaka, in his first touch in this final, cleverly spins through a tackle, gets away. Can he find support? He might need it here. Wide out, it comes, and it's Rocco, he'll get in. The speech, oh no! That's the way it's going for Fiji, the ball released from his grasp as he went over the line. Desperate lunge in defence, and I think that dislodged the ball. Have a look at this, Pesamino. Yes, he banged at the ball with his free hand, and that's a knock-on as it spilled out of uh, Rocco's hand. But now he's down again. He's 12 white. Looks like quite a serious knee on. twist they need there. On or we're starting the, game he's out of play. the game will continue, heard the referee saying, because he's and out of play. There's Pesamino, and there's his tally. Well, you'll get the same Three behind Ryder. Okay. We haven't seen Ryder at all. Is he going to come back on? Is he coming or not? The referee's still asking the question. Time they haven't on. put a replacement we'll on the field yet. He's jogging down the um, baseline of the uh, dead ball area Touch. and uh, looks like he wants to on. stay in the game. So here is Lola Louie trying to crash it out of defence. Flag is up there, so it'll be a Fiji throw in. They've got the giant Naivo there at over two metres tall to reach out of the night sky and secure possession. But they still have a nil against their name and that's uh, gone on the Samoan side. Taken back, scrum. Scrum this time. All of this, of course, is occupying time, and we've had two and a half minutes in the second spell, and Sorry. no change Not since up. half time. 27 to nil Incredible to Samoa. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. What Samoa to touch, touch, pause, engage. Well, all this again. We must make reference to the time it takes to set these. It's stopping the opportunity for uh, the Fiji to start. Under seven minutes to play now in the final. And Budango goes around to score the first points for Fiji. So they've started. How much more can they produce in this enormous task ahead of them to try to get close to and challenge the total of 27 that Samoa have? Classic little scrum half try from the blindside run, but remember, they needed four converted tries to get ahead. And William Ryder has kicked a goal. So they are now 20 points behind. It's still three tries and a long way to go. 27 to 7, some are in the lead. And only six minutes remaining. They need three converted tries if they're to get ahead. It would be some sort of a rugby miracle. Naevo misses, but there's a knock-on advantage here to Fiji. 
first off blue, they don't the want white. scrums, they want quick possession. They've got to first score off, every two minutes. And Samoa will dwell, they won't hurry. Why should they when they lead by 20? Crouch. Touch. Vusango with Pause. the feed. Engage. The new man this season. Is there something magic from Ryder? Not on this occasion, he goes on to Nabuliwanga. Looking for the switch. Rocco held. And this and is one. where Samoa are good at slowing things down, indeed, perhaps turning over, but lying with on the player, a blue. You're lying an on illegitimate the fashion. Desperate yep. now, are Fiji. Slipshod handling, it's well flicked away by Sarah Vanua. Chance for Butango, and wide is Fekau. That's a second one back. Don't yet count Fiji out. 27-12, and still five minutes to play. They're halfway up the mountain. And this one came from keeping cool, under pressure, passing and securely catching. And Setefano Bracao is uh, in for the try. Kickers away, they have to take it quickly. So Ryder misses again, 27 to 12. Still three tries away from grabbing any lead. As Trevor Annis goes to the sideline and is substituted. Fellow Faumna has come on. He's, he's calling Blue Nine off. Subs bench, are you confusing me? I think they want Pesamina to go off. He's down the back, guys. He's down the back. He is already off, right down at the at the end of the ground. Away to the left. Play resumes, 27 to 12. Samoa are still even. There is uh, Naiva again, missing the kick. He tipped and tipped that one forward, but the referee hasn't called it. Nambuli Wonga, enormous strength. The referee in perfect position to see this one. Is it able to be cleared for the try? Vudanga has it right there, almost Come against on, the paint. Flings it wide. Ryder will go in. Another one back. But still a long way to go and the clock continues to tick. 27-70. This is the handiest kick he's had so far. And it's hooked away to the left. So he's not been so successful we look at this one again coming out along the back line and it was a good man to give it to because he has a lot of speed but he didn't need to go too much wider 27 to 17 it means though two tries in three minutes and Fiji are the winners <laughs> it's all on here Fiji with the restart bit far that time but piling in too high and uh, Fiji come again Crowded behind them now, they're the underdogs. As Saravanua drives to the 22. They desperately need quick possession. They have it. Wide out is Antonio Namba. Namba. Will they take him into touch? They do. They do. And frustrate Fiji again. The clock ticks to two and a half minutes. Samoa. Captain, have the show in. Do not delay it, quite rightly, says referee Rooney. And now it's Samoa who needs some possession to calm nerves. Dicky Tafua looks on almost enigmatically. Is this to be a famous occasion for Samoa oh, after that four, tremendous four first half that, here, well, just swept Fiji aside, but Fiji have come back throughout this second half. But Samoa will do nothing in a hurry here. They'll just try and play out time, retain possession. There's a knock on. And it's a turnover ball. And here are Fiji. There's one on here with Ryder. Ryder spills it out to Saravanua. And that's four tries back. And they're up to 22 points to Samoa's 27. There's a minute 37 seconds remaining. This would be. Rugby's great escape, but it's not complete yet. Nor is the kick, it stays with one try difference. 
and one minute 20 to play. And look at them turning, looking at the clock to see a minute and 15 seconds left. The question now is not so much can Fiji score it, it's can Samoa hold on. Well, hold on. Both of those factors are in the last minute of play. There is Nairo, who's tipped it ahead. That's a knock on. He has had uh, no luck at all with the swinging arm. That one tipped off his fingers and went forward. It's a scrum with Samoa's ball. We look at the clock, 50 seconds to play. A five second lead to the team in blue at the moment. Pressure on everyone here. Pressure on the two teams with their different aims right now. Pressure on the referee, Ualimai. They take it into occupied time. They know what they're doing. Ualimai again. Crushed forward by Senio. Up towards halfway. 20 seconds to play. Penalty to Fiji. They must score quickly. 20 seconds in which to do it. 15 seconds. Ryder's the only one really who can do it. He offloads. Vudango to Ryder again. They're trying to cook up something here. Is set the front of the cow. Gives it to Big Novo. He's not the speech to look at the tackle come in from Sinyo. But it's still in play. Here they come. Nambuli Wonga. The defense is secure at the moment. Leave it. Stay there. Has it gone to some oh, Yes. <laughs> Referee has said it's not over. There's a knock on. Yes, he does. It is. Samoa. 27 points to nil at half time. Hang on. 27 22. The great man, the coach, the player coach, could not do it. But look at the effort that Samoa had to do to create this famous victory. Well, another chapter in the history of the Hong Kong Seven. You could not have written that one. Just one last moment, I thought, as Nabuli Wanga perhaps didn't distribute quickly enough. It might have turned the tables at the death, but it was not to be. And that first half performance by Samoa saw them triumphant at the very end. And so take only their second ever cup final in the IRB7 series to add to their victory in Wellington. Another chapter, as I say, is written in the history of the IRB Sevens. 27 to 22, Samoa are the winners of the Cathay Pacific Credit Suisse Hong Kong Sevens 2007.